Hello, and today we're going to be taking a look at Husky Crates 2.0. Um, it's a big update. It's an entire rewrite of the plugin. Uh, a lot of stuff is totally different from 1.8.0 and 1.7.2. So I'll show you all of that. So, um, hold on. One of the main things that's changed is you can have multi-line holograms, you can have custom scripted particle effects, for instance. <clears throat> uh, you, can you can customize the interface now. Isn't that cool? You can also... You can set custom messages, which I mean, that's standard, but... Yeah, you can also make custom keys. So if I go HC key and then test key, that's what this bean key is. Uh, this crate doesn't actually have its own key. So it requires you use bean keys. So if I do that, it consumes it. And there you go. And also, you can set cooldowns for everything now. So even if it's not a free crate, you can have a cooldown on it. Which allows you to prevent people from spamming, like, whoa, close and open, because now, you can just open... Oh, yeah. Um, the key duplication logic has changed a little bit. If, um... Yeah, if someone uses a crate with a key that is not valid anymore, does that. And that's kind of not fun to hear when you're not expecting it, but... It, effect, it works pretty effectively, and as you can see in the chat, admins will be let know the UUID of the player, the player's username, the size of the stack, and the key ID they attempted to use while that was, uh, that was uh, cheated in. So, past that, um, let me, let me uh, show you some more stuff. Well, with working keys. Here we go. So, yeah, we have all of the old stuff. Check that out. Wow, crazy. Um, we have all the old stuff. You know, whatever. Uh, be a sore loser still doesn't really do anything. I'll give myself ten keys. We'll give ourselves a few tries. I'll see if I can get the key one to go. Yep, there we go. So, you can give people keys directly with a reward type now <clears throat> that oh the reward what re <clears throat> reward types changed quite a lot this version and you know the di yeah okay so yeah this is how you'd give someone a key um if it's for a cr if it's for a crate it's local key in all caps underscore and then the name the id of the crate that's how you do that uh, fancy crate, just full of stupid stuff. Dank crate, use bean key, whatever. You get test stones. That's just mostly for logic testing, whatever. Um, but yeah, there's also a new particle system, which I did go over earlier. Kind of like that. This is just two presets. The rainbow preset and the orbit preset. But, oops, you can, um... I just noticed these particles aren't right. But I <clears throat> you can basically if you take Yeah, um if you go and you grab I'll grab the animation example, HCB animation example. This will show two things. You don't have to have holograms and crates anymore. And you can have custom particles. For just idle animation, and that's kind of cool. It's a fire vortex, you know. Who doesn't want a fire vortex, you know? Um, you know, you can do you can do custom rejection particles, which is normally just a smoke flume now. Same with this one, still smoke flume. But yeah, you could totally stylize everything. You can change how high up the holograms are. So if you have a bunch of stuff, it doesn't have to be smashed into the crate. Um, you don't have to configure which block you're using for custom crate blocks anymore. You can just go like this, Minecraft Ender Chest. 
And there you go. And then you just place it. And wow, cool, you have an ender chest too. Works the same as the other ones. Exact same behavior. And they also share cooldowns. Wow, crazy. What else can you do with 2.0 code husky? Hmm. Well, <coughs> you can do basically whatever you want. Um, the reward system is different, as I said earlier. You can give out keys specifically. You can use user messages or server messages. You can do user commands or server commands. Um, the message system is different now. It was called Lang, now it's called Messages. It's there's examples that I'm going to be posting when 2.0 is live. There's all this is also on the pre-3 and after. I'll have this on the download page. You can also toggle if you want dupe protection active on crates because I know some people have issues with that sometimes. So you can just turn that off and it won't <coughs> it won't spook your users like that. So the virtual key system is basically untouched. It's like the same thing. You can give people virtual keys by it's well it's one command now, which is a big change. It's just you do key V for virtual and then the ID of the so we'll go test key and then we'll type and we'll just go. So I got one key. So now if you go HC bow, you can see I have one bean key, so that Okay, so I've resolved the problem. It's pretty simple, so I'll give myself a key again, and boom. Pretty, yeah, just works. And as you can see, we've customized the border and selector items, and then it does that. Yeah, cool. So we win test stone, which is one. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um... You know, we have all of these things. You can give people keys. You can give everyone on the server keys. Uh, stuff like that. It's all cool and works and actually is way more stable than 1.8 or 1.7. The database code is a lot more durable, I'd say, than any previous version that had a database. And uh, yeah, I suggest over your configs. I'm gonna have a configuration converter. Uh, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna just, it's gonna be, it is on Pre3's download page, so if you just go there, you can download the beta of the converter. But otherwise, you can make your own configurations just by referencing the examples and asking in the support discord. Thanks for watching this informational video.